I see more of a water energy in this one. Whoever was working on it had a lot of water energy sign and is a thinker. So I see a lot of water and heaviness. I feel a sense of heaviness, the creator of this too. Yeah, a lot of deep things going on with them at the time when they made this. So the feeling is more like deeper, like in contemplation, but in a sense of heaviness. Okay. Has a really funny sense of humor. Kind of off. This piece is a... Uh... <sighs> kind of a pervert. Not like a dirty, sexy pervert, but kind of a pervert. Do you know what I mean? Like, th there's definitely a lot of sexuality to it, but it's not, uh, it's not like, you know, hardcore triple X. Uh, it's, it's kind of a part, it's got perversion sensibilities about it. <laughs> That's what I got off of this one. <laughs> Religion. And it felt very um, Jesus, like uh, very Christian. When this piece was made, it seems like this person reached the milestone in their life or they conquered something in their, in their life. Like they went through a lot of journeying, and so when they reached the peak, they created this piece, like a small momentum of their accomplishment. The person that created this likes is a spiritual person. So that person has a lot of um, deities associated with this. So when they made this form, it's associated with a deity because I'm feeling a strong sense of spirituality. This one has got a really warm, fiery feeling to it. Um, it's like a sun. It wants to be in the front center. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, but it'll hold the back really solid. You know what I mean? It's a strong piece. It's a strong piece. And they're like, like the queen of hearts, like what, whose head am I gonna cut off? Like you're just <laughs> like, it's like a little manic and it's sharky. It has, it has sharp teeth to it. And um, what does that mean? What does that mean? This one's a predator. It wants to be in the front. It's a very active piece. So what I'm seeing is two things, really specifically. One is music. It's really very. This is a. This piece really resonates with music. Strongly and bed. I might be picking up on the artist has an issue with her jaw or her tooth. Um, but I really, the, the, I kind of heart this piece, like the way it feels to me is so lovely and, and it's like a daytime bed with beautiful music, good air. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, I feel like I could be drinking coffee in bed with this piece. It's very lovely. So that's what I get off of that one. What I can pick up from this piece is animal. Animal on this. What I'm picking up, and let me check in with my... Um, the other thing that I get they're having issue with a man or there's a man that's incredibly important to them at this time that um, is kind of taking up a lot of their energy um, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of I'm asking the piece to reveal something else to me that is not about that woman the animal is a ram that's what I needed to say okay there we go Ta-da! <laughs> 
This is like the jewel out of all the pieces, I think. It's kind of like creating something like a crystal, energizing it. And if you concentrate and meditate with the light, this also can provide you healing. So this was a creation of kind of like a secret coding in itself, how they create it. It's, it's kind of in a mystical sense. Um, they're creating yet somebody's telling them some coding how to create these pieces. And that's how when I picked it up, it was more of an astral influence. So interesting because when I look at it visually, it's it's like the most substantial piece I've seen yet, of these of of these pieces, and um, it's lonely. It's kind of vacant. It's like it's left itself behind, and it's almost like there's this overcompensation with uh, with density, because there's there's a real sense of loneliness or um, still resonating with an old abandonment. It's not easy for her, poor thing. Yeah, I don't think this is her culture. Like, I, I think, like, the, it's not what she thought it would be. <laughs> it's sad. They were in a really good mood when they did this one. So their energy was more, like, fun. They wanted something fun. I'm um, not going to touch it. Um, this one has... Uh, some very serious decisions to make, some very difficult and serious decisions to make. Um, this piece really resonates for me around almost an existential indecision. This is the weirdest thing, and I know that I did not see this last time. I get a period. A menstrual cycle. Isn't that funny? Like a physical process of flow, but not the flow itself. It's the result of flow as opposed to the flow itself. So imagine, imagine you know about how the, the flow happens for the female. So the hormones and all the body parts, they push forward the blood. But the blood itself, because it's all, it's like sloth, it's not like the flowing blood of our veins. So it's like, it's the thing itself that gets dropped or that flows out. But it is other machinations that create the flow. So this is like a dropping out. This is the result of flow, but it is not. Ah, uh, it is not the hormones that create the flow.